Welcome to the Simply Incredible Podcast. I am Daryl, a.k.a. The D, here with Troy Chapney. How you doing, my friend? What is up? And Josh is back. Special edition. A.k.a. we call him once a month. Oh, don't say that. You're going to hurt my man's self-esteem. How many days has it been since I've been? Three hmm. months. <laughs> feels like... <laughs> we call him quarterly now. <laughs> feels like about... 1738! <laughs> 1738! <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> yeah. Chris next door didn't do that. How, how did your thing go with the um, comic book haul? It's good? It was good. Yeah, it was good. good. Yeah. It's good. Uh, good. By, by the time y'all uh, hear this, it will be out for the world to see. Oh, cool. All my comics, my pops, and some uh, action figures. I had all three of them this week. I was happy. Lovely. You know, I think that adds a serious tinge of legitimacy to your comic book hall when you have the comic book store owner, the local owner, yeah. on your podcast. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. Who's got that? Dude, that's cool, Who's right? Who's got that, but the simply incredible. Yeah, and one day, coming up very soon, a.k.a. October 22nd, I will have a whole Comic-Con Dude. behind me. Comic-Con. You gotta love that. Yeah. Comic-Con. The D's Comic-Con. 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 America. Comic-Con. America. Comic-Con. <laughs> yeah, the kids don't know that reference. Dude. Hey, today, I was talking to some kid, uh, and he was a 19-year-old Marine. Mm-hmm. Nice guy. He came in, he was asking about lessons. Mm-hmm. And he was here last week, right? Or no, no, no. He was just here tonight. Oh. Um, but he... Um, he came in and we were, you know, talking about stuff. And I made a Happy Days reference, like the Fonz or something. Mm-hmm. And he looked. Troy at me, goes, "A." Dude, he looked at the and just kind of. I could hear his eyelids go, blink, 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 blink. <laughs> and I was like, D- "Do you um, do you know Happy Days, the the TV show from the you know, no, the seventies, nah. Fonzie? You know Fonzie?" Nah. He goes, ah, no, nah, I think I, uh, I was like, yeah, you're not old like me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> could not believe there was kids in America, a Marine, no doubt, that did not know about the Fonz. That's unreal. Yeah, it's just One of the great mysteries of television, whatever happened to uh, Richie's brother? Oh, yeah. They said, we don't need him. We got the Fonz now. <laughs> yeah, we got Fonz. We, we don't need this guy. There's, right. there's you so get... much new programming now. Like Back in the 90s, they played reruns of old stuff like MASH and stuff all the time, but you don't see that anymore. You know what? That's exactly only what it one is. I see a lot is still Andy Griffin. Every day, Andy Griffin. That'll come on. on. Friends still comes on. I think well, Seinfeld well, still me, in to me, yeah, Seinfeld. Yeah, Seinfeld the thing. But to me, Friends and Seinfeld, they are really old enough to be in like for this discussion. What I'm talking about, like yeah, yeah. I mean, like that stuff that came out like, before. I mean, like pre, like seventies, pre seventies, right. and stuff like Remember, that. Remember, like Gilligan's Island, yeah. Brady Bunch, Green yeah. Acres. They for a long time, I think Gilligan's Island might have been the longest continuous running show. I mean, not new episodes, but on TV. Yeah, I can't stand the fact that it doesn't have a regular time in my mental schedule. I mean, because mm-hmm. it could be on TV Land or something like that. Um, my I kids got into it. The for Honeymooners a while. is another one I loved as a kid. This was, I was say yeah, that. I loved them. I was older before no, I started liking. Come on out here, I want to show you something. <laughs> That's a different right one. Right to the moon, Alice. That was a different. That was that Eddie was Murphy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Norton, I've been watching you. Bang zoom. <laughs> now, hey, hey, do you want to take and um, start today with what the comic book corner first? The, uh, you want to start with Connors or just regular comics? Yeah, you're right. You know what? Let's start with... Um, Before we start this, I want to say this. I talked to Riley. I asked her what she wants to do in Riley's room on the show, and yeah. she has not given me anything yet. She actually mentioned that to me yeah, today. So, My daughter, for uh-huh. you guys who don't know, name is Riley. And she she was like, man, is there anything I can do on the podcast? Yeah. I was like, well, I'll talk to Daryl. See? So that's cool I, I, that you did. I, I talked to her, and I was like, what do you want? We can, we can do something for you. Uh, just let me know, and we'll... we'll We'll throw mentions out for you every she week. She is like, God allowed me to have an angel that mm-hmm. I get to raise. There She's you go. awesome. Mm-hmm. Awesome little girl. Good but, kids. Um, Good kids. Hey, I tell you what, before we start everything else, maybe we ought to start with um, some of the big things that happened in the news this yes, week with news the sports this week. world. Sport, well, because I know Peasy's about to take a nap while I talk about this. Mm. But uh, we lost two, like one old legend and one guy that had so much potential to be a legend yeah. this week. Uh, Arnold Palmer. I mean, this guy had so much charisma, and more importantly, we got a lot of guys now. They are really talented, but they will make sure they let you know how good they are, and they, they their star fades really quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Arnold Palmer, they everyone said, whenever he met you, whether you were a great like Phil Mickelson, Tiger Woods, or just a fan. 
he actually looked at you and talked to you like you were the celebrity. And you just don't find people like that much anymore. Yeah. He always came acro- across as a really, you know, a good person. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. like honestly, like somebody that you could talk to. He'd be approachable mm-hmm. and stuff. There was a one of the guys um, that I think this might be his first or second year on the tour. He's like like 20 on the pro tour. I mean, that's crazy, first of all. Wow. But he was like, you know, I talked to him a few times and. It was like I was talking to my own grandpa. Yeah, uh-huh. that's the way he comes across. And I was like, that was awesome. That is awesome. And you, and it's, it's a yeah. it's a loss. I mean, you know, he's he was really old. So, you know, he, it was his time. But still, the the golf world hurts for it. But I think we all hurt for it because yeah. a guy like that has passed. Just I know that generation in general is coming in, and it's sad. Yeah, I mean, it, it really, it, it really yeah. was the greatest generation. I mean, yeah, I mm-hmm. agree. I hate to be the old man fussing about these youngins nowadays, but I don't know the yeah uh, the online generation just respect and everything is gone. Uh, it's gone. This from the it's PC uh, man over here. Yep, I, yep. I, I couldn't <laughs> agree more though, man. There's a real problem in this in the whole oh, yeah. world today, mm-hmm. and a, a lot of it has to do with you know the connections. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. the people aren't being raised right they're not connecting with each other properly and very true but you know it's funny i don't i don't mean to be flipping about it but mm-hmm. uh, you know his tea the tea that he had out mm-hmm. um i love he's got like a zero carb tea yeah it is literally for somebody who has to watch their carbs i'm diabetic yeah so um that is like one of my favorite things to get to drink as mm-hmm. a treat you know i mean most of the time i stay with coffee and water yeah but i will do that you know mm-hmm. diet tea and uh, this old guy, probably about a month ago, saw me drinking it. And he goes, you know who that is, Arnold Palmer? I was like, oh, yeah, of course, of course. And he goes, "He goes, you know that the money he made off of that is just unbelievable. Do you know the amounts that he made on it? I have no idea, but I'm sure it was a bunch. I put it this way. I think they said he made more money from the tea than he ever did from anything with sports. Yeah. It's not surprising yeah. at all. Yeah. Dr. Dre, he made Far more money selling those Beats headphones than he ever yeah. did recording music. Did he Fifty make- Cent with vitamin water, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. same thing. That's crazy. It's crazy, but mm-hmm. I think he said that one of the deals that he had worked out, if they could use his likeness and you know have whatever dealings with him, was a nickel for every single can they sold. Wow, oh, <laughs> a nickel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for millions and millions. It, I mean, it's, it's yeah. funny because most people think only a nickel. Oh, but, dude, dude nah. that that you builds up real yeah, fast. You don't get that kind of percentage. Yeah, dude, unreal. So, Anything else? I and it's funny because like I never saw him play golf. I mean, as, mm-hmm. when he was playing when I was a real little kid. Oh, dude, I, I saw him play many, many times. I I have never really yeah. sat and watched golf. Even when yeah. Tiger was really big, mm-hmm. I was like, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Yeah, rest in peace, Arnie. Mm-hmm. And the second one was uh, pitcher Jose Fernandez. This guy was in his early 20s, and he was one of the best pitchers. And his story was um, in 2008, he finally made it to America from from Cuba after four attempts. And great pitcher, all these wins. But he said his, his the day that made him the happiest was when he uh, became a U.S. citizen. Oh, that's he, yeah, I read that. I read he that. said that was his happiest moment. And that you makes get, me feel so good that there are people who feel yeah. that way. I mean, they, there's so many people in America that just like, gosh, I hate this country. I want to leave. Then go. Yeah. That's I'll what I've always said, too. I mean, I will. I'm like, if you don't want to be here, go. Yeah. And it's just, he was so happy. And everybody said that um, so many pitchers. Yeah, I know y'all don't pay much attention. Troy, maybe a little bit. But teeny, teeny bit. So many pitchers, starting pitchers, after they're done pitching, they get pulled out of the game. Yeah, they go, go to the uh, locker room, shower and stuff. But he's one of those guys that always stayed to the end of the game, always stayed out there. He wanted to see, you know, be with his team, win or lose. You know what that tells you, though? That he had not lost his love. Yeah. Uh-huh. The guys that left early, that's mm-hmm. a job for them. Yeah. And they're yeah. like, oh, man, I get to get out of here early. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of times I want to leave, you know, even the edge, like as soon as it's done. But mm-hmm. I can't help it. The people and yeah. the training, I, I love it. Yeah. You know, so and he, he said, I mean, all these people that came forward, he's like, dude, he he's like an Arnold Palmer. He was always willing to talk to people. Oh, yeah. Man. I mean, like the uh, guys from the other team, like, you know, when he wasn't starting having to get ready, you know, he'd be out there talking to guys from the other team. How about that? And he's like, that's pretty cool. Dude, because, I mean, at that point, you can tell this is somebody mm-hmm. who's still a fan. Yeah. When you go over and talk to the other team, as much mm-hmm. as you're a competitor, you, you still haven't gotten the, like, killer, you yeah. know, instinct about it. So what have you done? You go in and you're like, 
man, I, I know I'm getting ready to try to strike you out, but uh, yeah. I really want to meet you. I'm a big yeah. fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, two time All Star, and he had a uh, rotator cuff surgery, so he missed uh, two years. He'd been in the majors for four years, but he missed most of two years. Oh, wow. But still, was a the two time All Star. Uh, no, um, in 2013. Yeah, 2013, he was a rookie of the year. And 2014, he had the surgery. So 14 then, and 15, he missed. So Well, he missed part of uh, okay. those two seasons. And he came back toward the end of last year. And I think he was like 5-1, five, five wins, one loss, or 6-1 and one wow. to end that season. This year, we're at, the, we're at the end of the regular season. So he would have had probably one more start. And he was leading the league in strikeouts. So he was a dominant pitcher. And now just, I saw, like, everybody said a class guy, too. I saw a picture of the boat. Mm -hmm. And it was no joke. It mm -hmm. was completely upside down on the rocks. Yeah. Do you have any information for us about? Like, I mean, happened? all I've heard was they said that no drugs, no drinking was involved, but mechanical uh, failure or something. I, I mean, I guess what they did was probably got closer to shore than they thought. Yeah, or driver error. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I didn't even heard time or anything that it happened. All right. So I, so I don't sad. Know. Yeah. A spark. Put and out too and another early. thing that made it even sadder. Um, Five days before he passed away, he posted a picture of his girlfriend on the beach who was pregnant. Yeah, I heard I that like, too from oh, my gosh. heart. Yeah. Oh, so, dude. Rest all, uh, again, two greats in the sport. So, in sports. So, I know, start off with a really sad note. I apologize. Yeah, thanks Thanks for that. I'm, yeah, I'll, you know what? You guys are welcome. I want to go home. Uh, Rest in peace. Yeah. Jose. <laughs> well, hey, let's. I tell you what. Let's see if we can't. Turn it around a little bit. First of all, let me let me wake up Josh. Yeah. Josh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I'm back. Josh. Josh. Josh Man, no it. disrespect. Rest yeah. in peace, my friend. Yeah, there you go. Right. Hey, you want to move over and start on Connor's character corner? Connor's character corner. Triple C. I talked to him and I said, "Hey, Daryl sent me a text. He goes, what's the character this week?'" And he thought and thought and. The first thing he threw out. He said out, Harley Quinn. No, the first thing he oh. first thing he threw out was so like I'm a comic nerd and I had no idea. I was like, I don't even know who that is, dude. I was like, that's, dude, that's I don't pretty care. French. Let's do something yeah. like that. Challenge accepted. All right, next time oh. if he does, I'll let him. Let's do it. Um but I said, get something that's you know, fringe. Yeah. But something that would be uh recognizable. Spider Man. And he he just sat there and thought and he goes, I got it. This week, characters, comic book character of the week. Is the Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer. Dun, dun, dun. All right, would you like to say one thing about him and I'll say one other thing? I believe his favorite color is Orange. silver. Oh, you silver. I was uh, wrong. And I heard, I might be wrong, that he liked skateboard. No. 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 no, no. Surfing. He's pretty gnarly surfing. Surfing. Yes, yeah, surfing. Surfing. He's pretty gnarly. Now, let me ask you. Did you take and actually do any research on I this? I did. Oh, good. Because I, I did, too. And Daryl says, Dad, come on. I didn't. <laughs> I, I just ran out of time. I'll say this. But I, I'm, I'm reading right now. Okay. <laughs> the one thing we've actually seen from him on screen was in Fantastic Four's sequel. Yep. Rise of the Silver Server. Mm -hmm. I'll say they got his origin pretty much spot on. Now, his power level, they didn't get into that at all, really. But as far as where he comes from and what his whole purpose is, they did pretty well with the movie. Yeah. His name was, is it Norman Rad? Norin Rad. Norin Rad. Uh, Galactus came to his planet, wanted to eat his planet. Mm -hmm. He made a deal with them. I'll be your herald. I'll go find you planets to eat if you let my planet survive. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So let him okay. go. He gave, Galactus gave him a little bit of his cosmic power, just, just a touch of it. But, I mean, it was still enough power to make him basically a god. He can... His little surfboard that he travels on can travel faster than the speed of light. Mm -hmm. He can open up black holes. He can teleport all across the cosmos. He can sense life energy down to the subatomic level from light years away. Wow. I mean, dude's yeah. got power. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was neat because, like, reading about him today, I had, out of curiosity, there was a time, like, when I was, you know, young, where I knew that these characters were, you know, showing up in the Marvel Universe, but... Just blips. Yeah. And he was one of them. And I was like, I've seen him. I kind of see kind of what he does and stuff. And he, I can see I'll tell you what he's about. But I don't know, Yeah, you know, the meat and potatoes. Um, and today, I actually found online, they had this thing. You could read a bunch of his original stories. Oh, cool. Like, mm -hmm. you know, um, just a page at a time. I have to, if I can find yeah. it, we'll put it up there for you. But it was cool because he looked human. 
mm-hmm. before he was you know became the herald yeah. yeah and they i watched the i read the creation of him that's cool and it was neat looking because you know he goes i'm gonna encrust your whole body in this silver it will not be able to be penetrated you will not feel the heat of any star yeah. or sun wow yeah like he could go into the sun and fix mm-hmm. it if he had to be that the silver surfer is the guy yeah mm-hmm. Or the freezing cold of a you know no atmosphere or space, yeah. mm-hmm. you know nothing will be able to penetrate you. Yeah, he doesn't need to breathe or eat or nothing. anything to sustain himself. He he just he feeds off of energy. Now here's the thing that I thought was kind of neat, because I was like, okay, I get that. That's a pretty good basic origin. It makes sense. He goes finds planets for this planet devourer to eat. Mm-hmm. But here's where I had a problem. This guy says my world i don't want killed but i'll help you find a whole bunch of other planets to kill yeah now i always thought growing up that what he wanted to do was take and find planets that are uninhabited yeah but that wasn't the case sometimes that would sustain galactus if he needed something Uh Mm uh-huh you know if he was at that kind of level yeah yeah most of the time he goes no if it's not inhabited there's not enough energy i think so yeah he needs that energy yeah so galactus messed with his soul his moral conscience, his actual inner self. Mm-hmm. He like made a deal with, how do you say the guy's name? Mef- Mephisto. Yeah, Mephisto. I always Mephisto. want to say Mephisto. That's how I pronounced it in my head as a kid. Mm-hmm. Mephisto. Yeah. And there is a time in the comics where he faced Mephisto and got it taken care of. Ah. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it was kind of neat. Mm-hmm. So the whole reason that he was introduced, he came to the Fantastic Four comics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was here, he found Earth, and... The one thing um, was that when he was looking at the people, he said, number one, they're primitive because they've never seen anybody that's not them. Yeah. They think that mm-hmm. they're the only ones in the universe. Yeah. To this day. To this day. I mean, Peasy, you're not the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> the Illuminati's already proven that that's yeah, not true. That's right. <laughs> Bigfoot's on the council, he told me. Yeah. <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's video. Uh, there's video. Uh, yes. And, um, oh, shoot, now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Oh, he said, yeah, well, he he came here and he saw humans before he looked like the silver surfer and he was covered with the silver. They were human looking. Yeah. Like if they were here, you wouldn't have looked at them different. They look like us. Uh And it for some reason, it caused a stirring in him to remind him of his love. The reason he wanted to take and go as a herald wasn't to save just the planet, but his his he had a love and a family that he specifically wanted to save, you know, his Juliet, if you will. Uh Mm -hmm. And it made him think dude this is wrong and actually battled with galactus this makes him one of the most powerful dudes in the universe oh, yes. he stood toe to toe well actually th- flew his board up to his eyes levels and talked trash yeah to the planet devourer yeah the guy that mm-hmm. gave him the power that's what he said he goes you dare you are an insect i gave a glimmer of yeah. light to and you step to me let me show you what real power is. Oh. Boom. And he's dodging and stuff and blast Galactus. I mean, he's like, you want to fight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I kind of imagine one day that Connor might take it out on me like that. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's going to take a swing. He goes, old man done messed up. Time has come, old man. Galactus uh, is about to fall. I'm going to silver surfer his tail. <laughs> the gauntlet will be laid down. <laughs> Dude, and uh, Galactus he hit him with a direct shot mm-hmm. and he went down to the ground and he looked like he was made out of like dirt and mud like the silver was gone uh-huh. like it had destroyed him and he was down and he had this moment where he talked himself up and what he did is he absorbed energy from the planet yeah to restore himself really cool yeah so well the only other things of note that i'd like to kind of mention is that uh, the original artwork, of course, is made famous by Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby. Yeah. I was just about to mention that, too. Jack Kirby. First X. appearance in uh, Fantastic Four, number 48. Yep. Yeah, go ahead. You get more? Uh, the only other thing, was, it was in 1966. And honestly, I, I thought it would have been before that. Yeah. No, it was 66. And he actually said the only reason he became the surfer was because he was Jack Kirby was tired of drawing spaceships. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> That's why he said he there wanted to go. do a surfboard. Yeah, yeah I, said, I saw that. <laughs> That's awesome. I thought you were going to say, well, you know, he, he was there in L.A. He liked surfing. Like, <laughs> how cool. Yeah. We'll because make an it, intergalactic it's, surfer. Well, it's yeah. cons- completely nonsensical. Yeah. A surfboard. <laughs> he rides the energy waves to whatever planet he needs to go to. But it is ultimately one of the coolest things ever. 
Yeah. It's all nonsense. And he's tied to that board. Like, that's what Galactus, that was his punishment. He banished him here to Earth. He couldn't, yeah. he couldn't leave Earth. Yeah. And Fantastic Four finally found out it's your board that's not letting you leave Earth. Yeah, so they got on a spaceship with yeah, him. Yeah, he, he left the, no, he left the board on Earth because the board couldn't leave Earth. So he left, and then he was able to draw the energy and, like, destroy it and reform it there. So he kind of, like, found a loophole to get it out. Oh. And I also found out that's that because awesome. he was trapped on Earth, that he actually convinced Galactus eventually to lift that kind of ban. Mm. Wow. And he said there was a couple of really neat writings. Stan Lee, when he wrote from the heart, like really personalized it, because sometimes the, the Silver Surfer thing, he was such a man at a time, he came across as whiny. Uh-huh. You know, like always oh, everything's bad, woe is me type yeah, of stuff. Right. But it was really neat. He said a couple of things that I thought was really cool. Like he said, it's wild how I've seen more of this universe than most beings that have ever existed and i've seen but a droplet in the ocean of what there is out there oh yeah wow that was awesome. cool right mm-hmm. and then the last thing of note that i'd like to to say was um well first of all did you know how they the marvel method of comic creating with uh stan and kirby do you know how they did that they would get I, I, a general heard little things but go yeah, ahead they would get a general idea of what mm-hmm. the story would be Stan, you know, would kind of talk about it with him. They come up with it together, and mm-hmm. then Kirby would take that plot and draw the comic, mm-hmm. and then Stan would write the captions and the dialogue. Oh, cool! Oh, that's cool. That's weird, right? Because you would think, all right, here's the story. Yeah. Draw the draw pictures the story, that I'm yeah. Yeah. that I'm visualizing. And the only reason the Silver Surfer came in, Stan never mentioned it. Mm-hmm. Jack just put it in there, and he said, "What? Wait, wait, hey, dude, you're what are you off your nut a little bit?" What's this dude on a surfboard? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> and he goes, well, I just thought that this, he's so powerful that he would have a herald. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. And he drew him, I mean, with such nobility. Yeah. You know, I was yeah. like, okay. Yeah. That's one thing I liked about him in the movie, too. It's like he just came off as, like, omnipotent. Like He did. I'm just here. I exist. And did you like how they did him in the movie? I did, yeah. I did, too. The whole movie sucked outside of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the character. Did you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, did you like how they did it right yeah i mean i love the visuals of it i love I, like he's riding the surfboard yeah. i loved how he was doing that even the way they convinced him to save the planet and then he mm-hmm. went up and face clack so yeah. yeah now the biggest pet thing <laughs> yeah. about that, I mean, galactus Dude, what wt purple fog yeah <laughs> i was they like either you ran out of money like, they even showed his head shadow come across one of the planets yes. like jupiter or something i was like here he is no nah, he's a glass he's a gas ball all uh-huh. i can say is f O X. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's right. You're like, wait, wait, wait. Family show. WTF F O X. Dude. But um and the last little cool thing about this, and then we got we got a lot more we gotta move on. Was um do you remember the Crimson Tide? The movie. Yes. Denzel Washington yes, Gene yes, 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 yes. Do you remember the little scuffle between the sailors? Um, they were in the galley, they got into a fight, and Denzel goes and checks on one of the, you know, guys and says, Hey, Rodriguez, what what was that about? Oh, nothing, sir. I'm sorry. It was a difference of opinion. I lost my temper. I pushed him. He pushed me. And it got out of hand, and I'm very sorry. And he goes, well, what was it about? It was silly. I, I'd rather not bring it up because I don't care what you'd rather bring up. What was it about? <laughs> and he goes, well, Parker is a big fan of the Mobius Silver Surfer, and I told him the only real Silver Surfer was the Kirby Silver Surfer, and he wouldn't let it go. <laughs> and he looked at him, Denzel looked at him like he was crazy for a second, then he goes, listen, I ever hear about any more of this nonsense, I'll write you up. You could be up for a commission. No more of that nonsense. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. And look, understand, there's all kinds of morons in this place, because anybody who reads comic books knows that Kirby Silver Surfer is the only true Silver <laughs> Surfer. Boom. And the guy, he goes... Am I right? And he kind of giggles. Uh, y- y- yes, sir. <laughs> Let's get out of here. That's a neat moment. That in the is movie. awesome. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Well, I looked it up. It's like, what's the Mobius Silver Surfer? Uh huh. Stan Lee did a two-part little Silver Surfer and Galactus type story, and I think it, I can't remember if it's in the late '80s or early '90s, but this famous art artist Jean Mobius Godet or something like that, real famous. Mm-hmm drew the book mm. and he made him look i mean pretty much the same but there's a distinct look to it mm-hmm. that's cool and it is neat i mean like i totally appreciate it they say that this guy mobius is probably your favorite artist's mm-hmm. favorite artist mm-hmm. okay you know it's kind of he's artsy yeah, you know yeah 
But no, I'm sorry. Kirby, that's my Silver Surfer. Right, one of my favorite images of Silver Surfer is from Marvel's with uh, uh, Alex Ross. Yes. Dude, I, yeah. I was just thinking that. of that. I was thinking it was Marvel Masterpiece, but yeah, it's yeah, the Marvel. And that, I've got it's got that like cover. a reflection, right? Yeah. yeah. And it is an amazing. It, it looks like it's got. Um, I got that at home. I don't remember that. I got to take a look at that. It's I'm Human Torch, right? Like, yeah, Torch. That's who it was. But you can see Torch, Human Torch's reflection off of him on his surfboard. Yeah, dude, it yeah. is. It looks amazing. Yes. I thought that was the best part about Rise of the Silver Surfer mm -hmm. when Johnny Storm, Human Torch, took off after him. And it's just like, you're way out of your league. Stop. stop. <laughs> you remember when he took and went upside down on the board? Yeah. I mean, yes. I was like, somebody did their homework. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. And it was kind of neat because the actual panels in the book where they had him entering Earth, it kind of looked like that scene. That's kind of cool. I mean, just enough to where I was like, dude, that's where they got it. It's they did it right. Point. Yeah, that's cool. If so they could have done that with the rest of the movie, it might have been a good movie. <laughs> I know it, right? <laughs> it's like, apparently, you didn't have but one book to look at. Uh, people will believe the flying silver dude, silver, but the, uh, the giant man, nah, that's too much. No. <laughs> it's like, have you ever seen Transformers? Give me a break. No, I know. That would have worked. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you Connor, guys like that kind of like space stuff, Silver Surfer hasn't shown up yet, but Galactus is in it. This is the new Ultimates run that just started last year. Oh, I have seen that. Yeah. It's a very good run, actually. They do some cool space intergalactic what, what, stuff. What is the uh, title of it? The Ultimates. Oh, it is The Ultimates. Yes. The Ultimates. Yeah. You know, I saw that they released that, and I was like, dude, I don't know if that's going to be good. What is it, like volume whatever now? 50? No, it's not that much. Well, I, I hate this. I'm sorry. It's probably volume two or three. Yeah, something like that. But I was thinking, I, I bought the trade paperbacks, uh, so mm -hmm. the numbers were getting up there for uh, X-Men and Spider-Man and all. But, um... Cool. Hey, thank you, Connor. That was yes. a good one. You guys have fun talking about the I did. surfer. Yeah, I, I, did. I did. Yeah, that was good. Thank you for yeah. that. Next I like week, giving uh, a little nerdery about Harley Quinn. I mean, uh, whatever, uh, you, whatever, <laughs> you want, <Connor. laughs> whatever you want, Connor. Dude, we can't do a three-hour podcast now. <laughs> right. I, I can give you a synopsis in an hour and a half. <laughs> Dude, you will be cutting corners. Hour and a half podcast what? from him, he'd be cutting yep. his own corners. That's what I said about game. But I was like, <laughs> it started in a stormy night in 1962. <laughs> <laughs> the hospital's okay. first there was All right, Connor, uh, we cannot talk about Gambit or Harley Quinn. <laughs> That's just sorry. Banned from the podcast. <laughs> Dude. Troy, who, who's your favorite? One that you could just rattle Wolverine. on and on and on. I would say, I honestly, it's so hard for me to choose. It'd be between Wolverine, Captain America, uh -huh. uh, Batman. Okay, I was, I was hoping the there'd bats. be somebody with a DC in there besides I, I tell you, me. I literally, on my floor when I did the medallion, mm -hmm. maybe I'll get, I'll get you a picture and show everybody on the, the podcast. That's uh -huh. something we can take and put up. Yeah. Um, I do concrete work, and I did um, uh, decorative concrete engravings. And I did one. I used the bottom of the stair at the landing, Captain mm -hmm. America's shield, yeah. uh -huh. and it's like kind of like the focal point so that Cap is facing one way. Wolverine's facing another. And don't grade me too hard because Wolverine, I screwed up his arm. <laughs> but over top of all of them, Ben Grimm, the thing, is kind of yeah. lording over him. Uh, and Spider-Man hanging off the wall. And That's I went awesome. back and forth. I wanted to put Batman and Superman, you mm -hmm. know, facing there too. Yeah. I just ran out of room. I was like, it's going to look too cluttered. Mm. But those are my favorites. So it's only cool. Marvel. <laughs> Sorry. Wise choice, wise choice. Good man. Trying to keep the continuity. Killing me. You're killing me. Killing me, man. Can't mix your universes. Dude. All right. I feel so bad, though, when I do that. And because the, the seven year old Troy would kill me for not being all about Batman and Superman. Yeah. I was. Man. Hey, we live and we change. Dude. But I still, I mean, man, it's always be I mean, Batman and Superman, always going to be two of my favorites. The new Batman mm -hmm. run is awesome. Uh, dude, how, are you still going through? I am at uh, five. Uh, I think I'm uh, at that's why you say that, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're up to seven now? It's up to seven, yeah. Seven, yeah. What's my, my, my little problem is I get like a thousand comics every week. <laughs> All right. That's one little little problem there. Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, I saw the, the comic haul that you had, and I was just like, I wish I had Daryl's money. <laughs> I, I wish I still had Daryl's money. Dude, apparently Chris <laughs> has Daryl's money. <laughs> Chris has a good job. one of your 17 summer homes. And yeah, you'll be able to get oh, that's why he's yeah, coming over yeah. here buying all this equipment and showing it to <laughs> one me. One day I'm going to be rich like Daryl and buy like $300 of comics a week. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a good day for you. Gotta please that the would be a good day. <laughs> there was a time the I did that. <laughs> yeah. I cannot do that anymore. My kids need yeah, braces. Hey, <laughs> don't, don't forget I, my action figures and pop vinyls too. Let's rattle through some comics real quick so we have time for Stranger Things. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. What do you got? Um, first of all, some previews of things to come. 
Oh, here we go. I love previews. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, probably not this hey, one. Hey, do you ever read that book, Previews? Do you ever get it? Nah. Nah, not really. Not. I, you I should. read that to him, yeah. You should. If you've never seen the big ones, because, I mean, yeah, the DC and Marvel stuff is good, but it'll introduce you, if you look through it, to a billion other things yeah. that you probably be like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if my budget would like that. Dude, I tell you what, I haven't done that in years. I'm going to yeah. do that this weekend. That I sounds think. good. That sounds cool. Yeah, right, what do you and, got? Then, and then the kids will not be getting their braces. <laughs> they only need two straight teeth. Yeah, that's legitimate. <laughs> that's for corn I and mean, apples. I mean, there you go. bunny rabbits. I <laughs> beat me to it. <laughs> All righty then. All righty. <laughs> yeah, but some previews coming out. There's, a, there's some new Spider-Man stuff going on. It's called Dead No More. And do you guys remember the storyline? I don't know if you read it or not, but... They had all these Spider Man, Spectacular Spider Man, Spidey, blah 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 blah. I used to hate Spectacular Spider Man. They for killed a while. them all. Not really killed them all, but they wiped out all those runs, and all they had was Amazing Spider Man for a while. That's the way it should have been. They did that by um, Doctor Octopus had taken over Peter Parker's body, and he had kind of wiped them all out, and that was kind of the end of that story. So Octavius had been gone for a while, so now they're kind of bringing Octavius back to life, and they're going to start Ooh. that run. Now, when you see previews like this, is this like months off or weeks off? Months, actually. Some of them are all the way out to December. Yeah. 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 They've shown like the next two or three covers by Alex Ross for The Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. Every single one of them, when I yeah. see them, I'm like, God, those are gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, that dude. He's, I don't know he's if he's like a magician with that. It's I, don't, like, I love it's him. insane. Me too. I don't know if he's ever done it or not, but I'd like to see an entire book where he draws every panel of the comic he book. He has. That would be gorgeous. He did a bunch of oversized books with a lot of the Justice League guys, and they're amazing. Any good books? I mean, Marvel books? Uh, You know what? I don't think he's done... Well, he didn't do that with them, but I think he has done some stuff. That's cool. He's also done a lot of stuff... Um, because he's a cover artist for the most part. Yeah. yeah. We went down to a Heroes Con down in North Carolina. They actually have full canvas wall prints painted by him and stuff. Yeah. I mean, they're ridiculously expensive. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They look amazing. Yeah. They are amazing. I know um, that I've got a bunch of his art down in my man cave. I mean, he's one of my favorites of all time. Yeah. And, okay. He had the Justice League. Yeah, that's picture. one I was about to ask you about. That was him because it's, it's insane. I love it. It's so good. He's got a whole line based on that that comic line with the oversized books. Mm. You ought to look at it because the, the stuff he does, it's unreal. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the plan is for Iron Man. They just introduced this new girl and they said she kind of reverse engineered his suit. and she Yeah, might yeah, be. African-American girl. And I also saw another preview of a cover. And it's called Iron Doom, and it's got Doom dressed up as Iron Man. Wow! Now that's, that's interesting. That's coming out soon, Iron Doom. So we'll what see what that's about. What do you think about, about them? All right, I, I, I we got to hit on this just real quick. Right. I can't stand the lack of creativity that I feel is involved in in all of these switches. Girl, mm-hmm. Iron Man. Yep. Girl, mm-hmm. Thor. Mm-hmm. Miles Morales, Spider-Man. It's getting bad lately. Sam I mean, Wilson it, as it, Cap. It's the same thing in DC as well. It's not, you know, we, we, we kind of pick it on Marvel that, but DC does the same thing. I hate yeah. it. Yeah. You got so many people whining, oh, there's not enough diversity. Yeah. And they, I get they sick cave. of, that's yeah. just an easy, you know, win, I guess you yeah. could say. Because they're going to yeah. sell books because people are like, oh, what's this? Yeah. Yeah. And I know that's their job, but it's like, okay. I mean, a few years back, they were killing everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And now they're putting, you know, women in the men roles and yeah. different ethnicities in the other the men roles. It's just like anything they can throw a number one on. I, I mean, I, I've I've said this for does a that long time. You? It does, but to me, there's one character that they could do this to, and no one would really complain. And that's Green Lantern. <laughs> well, because he's a core, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a core. I mean, and he can be alien, he yeah. can be black, white, Latino, male, female, whatever. Whoever gets that's their hands the on the one learning. character. I'm like, go with that. Hey, and, and I will tell you this, in all fairness, just out of curiosity, I had to, I read the first Miles Morales Spider-Man book, mm-hmm. and it was great. Oh, yeah? It was really, really good, which makes me mad. It's like, you guys could have done this, but, you know, not made him Spider-Man, made yeah. him, you know. Yeah. I mean, heck, you got Venom. You got you, the guy you, Prowler. He's got yeah, right, really right. similar powers. Mm-hmm. Call him the arachnid kid. You know, I mean, come on, you know, I I really think that was in uh, some other comic group. Sounds oh, I would like doubt. it. Like like Dark Horse or somebody made that. Dude, I might, might be wrong about that. I was watching one of the uh, Justice League cartoons. I can't remember which one it was, but 
the Justice League was going around and they were fighting these random villains and like here comes a Spider Man ver the DC Spider Man version and oh. he was nobody in the DC universe. And I was like, that is like a clone copy of Spider Man. They like, do that. Yeah. Marvel's most popular character. He's like nobody in DC. Yeah. I would love if you could find that and send it to me. I would, I would just eat it up. That'd be great. <laughs> They've got this thing that I saw. Some there's an artist who's done these comic book covers of comics that don't exist where there's a team up of one DC and one Marvel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Ben Grimm, the thing with cyborg. Ah, that's cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. dude. And it, and it looks legit. I mean, he made it look like that old style of like maybe the 25 cent book times. Yeah. And I was like, that looks like a Marvel team up for real. That's a DC character. And I went to his page and he had a ton of them. That would be. It's like, you yeah, know, they sure. don't really, dude, I'll take that page. That would be neat. awesome. That is cool. It's I like, gotta, I gotta find it. It's like, I don't know, they're in competition, but not really. It's like sometimes they do collaborate. I've seen like Punisher and Batman and stuff oh, like no, that. Oh, no, they do that kind of stuff a mm, bunch. Yeah. I'm real big about that. When I was young mm -hmm. um, in starting business, I was like, dude, competition's horrible. Mm -hmm. I hate my comp competitors and competition. Mm -hmm. And then I had one of my mentors told me, he goes, absolutely nothing wrong with competition, yeah. even for you. He said it's healthy. It's going to make you yeah. strive harder. Yeah, it's going to make you work he goes, harder. But do you literally believe that on one side of the street there's a McDonald's and on the other side of the street there's a Burger King that they're killing each other? Yeah. No, why? Because what they're doing is just giving people the same product with enough difference to make yours, you know, viable again. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like, hey, dude, you know what? Don't leave comics all together. Come swim in this pool. It's a different pool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when you get tired, don't leave comics all together. Yeah. Jump in the other pool again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of works with, you know, each other. I think the third parties are really starting to shine a little more now. Yeah, there is. Who are you liking from the different, like, Image? Aftershocks has got Aftershock some great Aftershock has ones. come through um, big yeah. lately. Well, now, what is Aftershock? Is that uh, a... Super Zero. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Rough Riders. It's really good series. Really, really good. Oh, nice. It's got... Um, have you read any of that? No, I haven't. Gosh, I'm trying to remember all the characters in it right now. Um, oh, man, it's got one of the old presidents. It's got um, Annie Teddy, Oakley. Teddy Roosevelt? Roosevelt, yes. Annie Oakley. Because Teddy Roosevelt's Rough Riders, yeah. And um, um, Jack Johnson, the old boxer. Oh, yeah. It's got like these people. like um, it's not Kind of like Leagues of Extraordinary Gentlemen yeah. with a different group. Yeah, and it, it, the first the first couple, they're, they're getting the, group, the, the crew together. I love it. And they're working together. I was like, this is this Oh, is I awesome. love those this kind of things. This is sweet. That's kind of cool. I thought it was so neat in Extraordinary Gentlemen, the diversity. I mean, Tom yeah. Sawyer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they make him a hero. I was like, all right, dude, I'm in. Yeah. yeah. I got a popcorn in two hours. Let's do it. And go get the Invisible Man and stuff. Yeah. I, cool. haven't, oh, I haven't it. read it yet, but I, I hear really great things about Black Eyed Kids. That's also Aftershock. Okay. Um, oh, cool. I hear that's really, really good, too. Uh, I read another one. I can't think of right now. But it was good. Mm. Aftershock is the publishing company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some that they do a lot of mainstream lines that I I know you connect with some of them. I just don't. Mm -hmm. uh, like Dark Horse. Yeah. They'll do a lot of the movie I, lines, I like Star Wars yeah, and I, Alien I, Predator. Yeah, yeah. Well, Star Wars is now Marvel now. but Yeah. Oh, right. right yeah, okay. but... I, I don't remember ever reading any of the, the, the Dark Horse stuff. I have some Dark Horse ones, but none of it ever really piqued my interest. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I read a couple, but I was like, eh, whatever. It's not for me. I mean, that, that's you something now. You, you, you could probably go to some of the shows. You probably find most of them in dollar bonuses. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, for sure. It makes you wonder what their bottom line's got to be like. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you, another publishing company I liked was Boom. B-O-O-M. Yeah. Exclamation. Boom. Yeah, exclamation. <laughs> uh -huh. And Ape Comics, I like them, Ape, too. I don't know them. Like, boom, really I've good. heard. I went through this this phase where I really liked cartoony mm -hmm. oh, style cool. of that's art, cool. yeah. like kind of like Scotty Young type mm -hmm. of stuff. And Boom had some really good stuff because I, I I'm not an artist, but I love to draw. Yeah, read I mean, read uh, Spawn kills everyone. Right. Yeah. I actually cartoony. saw that next door, and I was like, the cover does look appealing. Oh, cool. I mean, it, it's got a Scotty Young look to it. Yeah. And it is again, the, like third week in a row, one of the worst things I've ever read. <laughs> yeah, we know you bust out. Ah, damn. Hey, what other things did you have in your previews? Is there any other lines we ought to look for? Um. Well, moment of silence. Moment of silence. The death of X. Has I begun. knew that was coming, dude. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I know you're broken heart. I'm right there with you, yeah, man. man. We'll, we'll have to have a day of. Mourning. I was talking to uh, Matt Slay today. You guys know Matt. Oh yeah, love uh, Matt. Artist, and he was telling me he was like, he's like, you know what? Right now, I don't even care. I'm just, I'm done with him. I, I don't even care about him anymore. 
About he's what? Like, he's like, the X Men. X Men. He's like, I want to care. This is some. Of, this is like one of my group. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I'm just. I'm done with him. Oh man. Because of the whole. The whole. I guess with him, it's the whole Fox thing yeah. and, and all this and with you know, Marvel and Fox. And he's like, I'm done. He's like, I, he's like, I, I want this to be a, a, a thing. Yeah, you mean he wants it over and be back with Marvel and let's just yeah. carry on? Yeah. yeah. Could you imagine yeah. what Civil War would have looked like with the Fantastic Four yeah. and yeah. the X Men? Yeah. yeah, dude. Even if you can't throw them all in, just having like Wolverine off in the corner doing some stuff. Well, just like you have different matchups possible. Yeah. You know, Wolverine yeah, with the that. Fantastic Four, yeah. or you know, um, oh, who was the other ones that was um, they're talking about? Cyclops and Jean Grey, great storyline. Yeah, yeah. Put yep. them in with the Avengers. Yeah, you know with Cap. Yeah, Dude, I mean, I'm all about that. Gosh, like right. even the the beginning, the discussions with the Civil War. You got to have Professor X in the mix there. Yeah. Oh, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, come oh. on. Yeah, dude, that, that would be that breaks so my amazing. Heart. Yeah, dude. Do you think it's gonna work what they're doing? I mean, the end of the Fantastic Four is that that's still not being published, right? Oh, yeah, that hasn't been for a while. Yeah. And X Men's had a role for years now that they haven't been able to create any new X-Men. Yeah, I've heard so that. So that started the whole Terrigen Mist thing. It's like, oh, we're sterile now. We can't make any new. But now they're just fully killing them off. And I saw the other preview, Inhumans versus X-Men. So it's I, like, saw, I saw that When you book, sent yeah. that to it's me today, begun. I wanted to cry. I was like, there's no way Black Bolt beats all the X-Men with his whoa <laughs> mouth. Know, no I way, know. dude. It's like no, uh, at least in my opinion, me growing up in my experience, I didn't read Inhumans. I don't feel it's as well known as X Men. It's like to have them kill the entire X Men team. It's like that hurts. Yeah, but the reason I mean, and you, I know you know that I'm preaching yeah. to the choir. Yeah, that's as close to a mutant, you know, uh-huh. idea as they yeah, can we take. Get to and, keep the mutants, but not really use. But the not word really, mutant. and yeah. we'll create a whole bunch of new Inhumans. Uh-huh. But the Inhumans, for whatever reasons, like you said, they were never. It's not that little. Mutants it's, was different. It was us. Yeah, yeah, it's not the ones, you know. I don't know. It's funny because they're, it's a different name for the exact same thing. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah I was kind of reading about the backstory, like why it existed and stuff, because I didn't really know about the Terrigen Mist. And yeah, it was Black Bolt. They had it confined to this one city, and it was like a coming-of-age ritual. You yes. got to go into the mist and see if you become an inhuman. Yep. And for whatever reason, he unleashed it on the world, and that's when the grand awakening of all these and humans started, but also the mutants started dying. But hmm. that, he also, I didn't know this because I read, um, I can't remember what it was, Uncanny Inhumans, I think uh-huh, it was. Yeah. And that's where they were talking about that. Black Bolt had nuked a city or something, like Atlantis or something, you know, uh-huh. with a Terragon mist, uh, Terragon mist thing, and killed a ton of people. And he said, no, you don't understand. It's because of the timeline that I understood. That's the only way I could save the entire universe or uh, something like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I was like, dude, okay, you might have me a little hooked here. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know, the X-Men have almost kind of hurt themselves because they've even, even shown them going, like, centuries into the future. And they had, like, this pod of, like, potential mutant offspring or something like that, like DNA or whatever, and Apocalypse got his hands on it. And it's like, that could have been... You could you could have set it up like maybe we're dying now, but there's hope for us in the future. But they had them destroy that pod, and it's like our future's over. Wow. That's it. Yeah. How soon um, are they actually the putting fights, the final nail? The fight the fight begins in December. I don't know how long that. So to go probably be. until next summer, maybe at least, so. Or next yeah. Year even. Yeah. Killing me, man. I'm gonna buy every single one of them, but I'm gonna. They're yeah. counting on it. Salty old peasy over here reading yeah. them. All right, let me let me ask you this. <laughs> The Fantastic Four has been out for a while. Yeah. They're going to do away with the X-Men. How long do you think this standoff happens before they, you know, win? Yeah. Disney's going to win. <laughs> Disney's going to win, and, you know, Fox is going to milk it, and they have the right to milk it. But yeah, they do, actually. They've yeah. done, what, eight, nine movies? I mean, what? how much more can they do with the X-Men? Hugh's out. He's not making any more Wolverines. Man, and I tell you what, it makes you want to take and go back in time and find whoever sold it to Fox and said... Don't yeah, do this it, is bro. Be yeah. the biggest mistake of the entire, you know, genre. I, I, I started reading some of my old ones, and it's like the '90s were so much about X Men. There was X Men merchandise everywhere. Yep. Those comics were filled with toys. There was Pizza Hut had promotions with X Men. They were everywhere. Wow. That was Marvel's franchise, and now look mm-hmm. what it's become. Uh, back in the day. Back in my day. Yeah, my younger days. I'll tell you, uh, Deadpool versus Gambit just wrapped up. 
and I mean, it was an okay book. Oh, was that the the end of it? Yeah, it was like five issues, five or six. That's it. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought it was going to keep on going. No, nah, I think it was five, but it wasn't really a great story, but mm-hmm. it was kind of cool that they brought, like, the Kunlun stuff into it. Yeah. And, uh, De- uh, Deadpool got his hands on it, and he became Iron Pool. So that was <laughs> yeah. kind of neat. That's awesome. <laughs> that was kind of neat. <laughs> Iron Pool. A little like twist. That. Dennis, you might get a kick out of that one. I got to I gotta actually start reading them then. Are you up <laughs> to date with uh, Doctor Strange? No, I've actually, I just got them, and I haven't read them yet. I'm hoping to do them this weekend. How far are you in? I don't um, for him. Seven. Okay, so he's still fighting the fight. Yeah, with yeah, that yeah, story. yeah. It's a, it's a very good story. You'll like it. I think That's I got cool. eight, nine, and I need ten. Do you know? No, I'm not going to say anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Good. Don't say that because <laughs> it is good. that good. Spoiler. It's good. It is good. But the fight goes on and things happen. And it's like now the fight's over and things are. Now, this, yeah, now something has got The aftermath. Did you ever something. end up reading any of those? No. They're I'm actually really you, good. You really ought to. At least download them or something. Yeah. They're I, I don't know anything about this download thing you speak of. It, it's completely legal. I throw, yeah. I throw money at people. Here, yeah, take yeah. it. Marvel Comics has this thing where you can actually download some yes. of their titles yeah, for $1.99. That's what I was talking about. That's not bad. No. Yeah. It's All a the, digital copy. Yeah. But it's downloadable. And, uh... You just get to make the audio <laughs> cute, too. <laughs> and it is a fantastic. I actually bought one of the Captain Americas I didn't have mm-hmm. of, the, cool. of the run. Yeah. I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was like, dude, I'm going to go online. I bet you Marvel will sell it for a couple bucks. Oh, yeah. Did. That's mm-hmm. awesome. They're starting now. Like, they're, they're uh, I don't know what they called it, but their quote unquote rebirth that they did where they started all the. Marvel, all their books over. Right. It's been about a year now, so all their annuals are coming out. So oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Deadpool, yeah, yeah. Said Doctor Strange annual. And, uh, the Extraordinary X-Men came out, and I couldn't choose between a cover. Like, all three of the covers just when looked so cool. When did that come cool. out? Um, was last that, week. I did it? I yeah. didn't even know. Which one did you out? say just now? Which Extraordinary one? Extraordinary. Oh. I, I didn't even realize that one came out. Usually, I don't buy multiple copies. Like, if I think the variant looks cooler than the regular, I'll just yeah. buy the variant. Yeah, yeah buy me the, too. But they, they, they put out, like, three different covers. I was like, I got to have all three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so sucker. Three, I bought, two, <laughs> I bought sucker. three versions they, of the they same book. They got me on All-Star Batman. Yeah. Gosh, I, I love that. That's that's a fun book, too. Did you see that, the Batman Beyonds today? Yeah. Both of those covers look really awesome, yeah. too. Yeah. I, I, you know, watch my video. I may or may not have gotten both of them. Oops, I know you. you may buy, or may not. You buy everything on the shelf. You're like, give me one of everything. <laughs> In some cases, two or three. <laughs> um, that's all I got to talk about. Some good shows are out lately. The fall season has begun. Yeah, which means uh, before long, we'll be talking about The Walking Dead again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's coming out, what, uh, what two weeks? No, Walking Dead. Well, gosh, it is late in the yeah, season already. Think, it's going into October. I yeah. thought it was coming in October when it's coming. The out. Flash is coming in October. Uh-huh. Walking Duh. Dead is. Well, yeah, it is close to October. I was going to say he's like next week. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Monday. Well, next week will be October. Yeah. Yeah. Timeless comes out Monday. Timeless. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm excited about that, dude. One. I am too. That looks mm-hmm. really good. You, um, you throw some time travel at us, we're good to go. Yeah, no kidding. I'll tell you one that I think is going to really be something that. I hope we'll they have really... a Sasquatch time traveling. They will, of course. Okay. <laughs> Will be a uh, Western world. Oh yeah, me and one of my friends was talking about that today, dude. That and looks fantastic. I forgot all about it. And one of my friends, he sent me a, uh, an image. I was like, oh, with Yul Brenner back in the day. Yes, way back in the day. Scared me half to death. Yeah, when as he, a kid, when he took his face off. Yes. Oh my god. That was freaky. That was yeah. almost like remember back in the day when V. Yeah. And they showed yeah. them taking their mouth off, mm-hmm. um, open their mouth, and doing the rat. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, a uh, hey, hey, lizard person. Yeah. Hey, rat. Oh god. Awesome. Awesome moment. PZ, do you know uh, any of these? Nope. Oh my god! Hey, do you remember the first time watching Planet of the Apes and mm-hmm. woo-hoo, woo-hoo, yeah. and the apes come out and they mm-hmm. have that camera? Yeah. As a kid, that about gave me a heart attack. Yeah. I was like, "That's a nightmare come to life." Yeah, them no gorillas that yeah. rip your arms off. I mean, uh, I will say this: Yul <laughs> Brenner though scared me half to death because I you just see this guy. He looks like a regular guy, but he's a robot, <laughs> and he takes his face off. And you're like, <gasps> Dude, that was incredible moment. I remember I mean, that too, and it was like Whoa. Nicholas Cage did it better. No. Hey, you know who's in it? One of the X Men's in it. And uh, James Cyclops. Oh, okay. oh yeah. What's, 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 what's the last name? I can't oh, remember. Oh gosh, Martison. Yeah, Martison. I, I was like, I don't because of him. <laughs> yeah, it was I'm all of us. Yeah, say it yeah. real fast and mumble. Martison. Mm, that's good. Martison. <laughs> but that looks great, and I mm-hmm. love when HBO or Stars or AMC or mm-hmm. one of these things. Netflix now, of course. Yeah. 
with Luke so. Cage coming out this week. Yes. Is that this weekend? That's this week. Yes. I watched a preview for that this morning while I was getting ready. They said, mm -hmm. watch this little trailer. It's looking better and better. Starts yes, Friday. Yes, it is, yes. So, they said they actually bumped him up in front of Iron Fist because of his popularity on Jessica Jones. Well, think about it, right? They had that momentum. Why wouldn't you yeah. jump on it? Yeah, exactly. Like, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's, that's pretty much got my weekend planned. <laughs> How soon will you take and finish it this weekend? Oh, I'll finish it this weekend. I, I have no life, remember? Is it 13 or 20 episodes? It's 13. You I think 13. everything they put out is 13. Mm -hmm. 13 I can do. It's I, I can't do that. I, I'd love to say I promise we'll watch it and then talk about it next week. Mm -hmm. I won't have it done. Yeah. I got too many with the yeah, kids. Yeah, let's, let's do this one two, two weeks out. Yeah, all right, again. Yeah. Next it, week I'll be spoiling it all over the place. That's, that's, that's one good way to die. <laughs> it's like yeah, even yeah, if yeah, all yeah, three of right. us marathoned it out, I don't think the rest of the listeners would, and they wouldn't listen to the podcast. So. Yeah, but I, I can't wait. The actor, I, I loved him in Jessica Jones. Yep. He was fantastic. Yeah. I cannot wait to yeah, let he fits him the shine role perfectly. He's awesome. They said that he was like when he found out they were bumping it up. He was like, "My wife's pregnant. We're gonna have a kid. She's gonna divorce me if I have to be here, you know, and doing all this." It's like. Uh, well, we got money. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of money, you know. You can help your family out. Yeah. Hey, do we have time? I mean, I know we got these previews. Do we got time to talk about one of our favorite ones that we just watched, Stranger Things on Netflix? We're, we? we're at 50 minutes. What do y'all want to do? I'll tell you what. Let's take and save it. That's a good right. one. Do, do you want to do it? That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's got like a whole book written down over here I'll about tell you what. It. Let's see what we can do. i tell you what. I, I, I want to talk about it, too. Do you want to split it in a like part A and part B or something? I tell you what we ought to do is not do a full disclosure of it. Mm -hmm. Because, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to listen to a podcast and listen to us drone on about the, the excitement. Demogorgon. Yeah. But maybe we can highlight why they should watch it. Yeah. Okay. All right? Yeah. First of all, I don't think there's anybody in here who would say it was not two thumbs up. Oh, I thought it was amazing. It was a surprise. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, what did you guys know about it going in? Nothing. Uh, yeah. I knew it was 80s, and it had a monster. That's that, all I that, Yeah, and that was, like, good enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and the kids, I was like, when I saw these kids, it was kind of like a, a Goonies type of group. Dude, yeah, loved them. Were I they cast even, perfect or what? Yeah. yeah. And I didn't uh -huh. even know why Winona Ryder was in it. It opens up with her. I'm like, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> she looked so dirty and grungy yeah. and crazy and off her rocker. Uh -huh. I still think she's cute as a button. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean when I saw her though, I, I was kinda like, this is probably how she is in real life. She's probably crazy. <laughs> Dude, she looked crazy, right? <laughs> I mean even That's probably why she got cast. Oh yeah, she can do it. Because I was I just had this vision of South Park with the uh the lady with the bird in her head. Oh yeah. I just had I that vision that. of her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um <laughs> The homeless lady from um Oh, it's the Macaulay Culkin Home Alone. Home Alone, Home Alone 2, yeah. where he's lost in New York with yeah. the homeless woman <laughs> that talks to the pigeons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, um, one of the surprise cast members I saw, Matthew Modine. Yeah. From Vision Quest, Full Metal Jacket, and all of those. Have you seen Vision Quest? <gasps> you really haven't seen oh. that? I don't oh. believe so. I'm I have been you, hurt. Every now and then, there's a movie that I'm like, you you have to. Yeah. This is a have to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's about it's good. about like high school wrestling. Oh, okay. But it's kind it's of amazing. like Rocky for wrestling. Yeah. Oh, okay. And really it's good. good. I was really like, good. Vision Quest is that Tron or something? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, Tron. You should watch that too. I've seen Tron. Before. Tron's good, but yeah. No. Vision Quest is awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. okay. Hey, okay. shoot! You the guy? Yeah. Think you can make the weight? I hope so. Yeah, I hope so, too. <laughs> All the time he's having this conversation with Shoot, his nemesis, the dude's carrying a tree up bleachers as a workout. Like, it's been cut off at the ends. It's a tree. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just like, kadoosh, kadoosh. And I was like, okay, we have our Mr. T for Rocky Three. <laughs> he's going to murder you. Yeah. So, yeah, watch that. Matthew yeah. Modine was mm -hmm. in this. That's cool. Yeah, I remember I loaned that to Dre, and it sat in his DVD player for like like three weeks or something. So then he gave it back and never watched it. Oh, what a mistake. <laughs> Dre, Dre, watch Vision Quest. So which character was he? He was um, the head of the science division with the white hair, big tall guy. The teacher, though, was like helping not, him. Not, not the teacher, the bad guy. In, in, in Stranger. The one who Stranger was Papa ah, for yes, 11. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I got you, got you. Um, that little girl who was, was it 11? L? Yeah, 11. yeah, L. I, and for the long, for most of this, I was like, that's a dude. 
But you know what? There, and, she was. I thought she was a cutie. Yeah, yeah, and totally. And, I would, and I, would not I was want like, to say anything I was like, wow. Her. You know what? The more she did, I was like, this is awesome. Yeah, I love that little doing girl. A great job. She was a great actress, and what she went through to actually film that. If you actually think about it, I was like, yeah. she shaved her head. Yes. she was wearing all those goofy clothes. Yeah, all the especially time. the one where they put her in the water. It's the most. That's exactly what I thought about. I was like, yeah, I got height like claustrophobic just watching it yes. i was like get me yeah. out of there get me out uh-huh. not only that i mean at that age you got body uh-huh. image issues yeah, anyway yeah. and they make you put on the most unflattering outfit possible uh-huh. say mm-hmm. hey now we're gonna show the world you yeah shaved head and the ah! craziness Good for her. so kudos who, for her who was the cop do, do you know him from anything else hoop jim jim hopper yeah i know i've seen him in something else but for life of me I, I i can't think but you know what they made a search engine type of thing I think that he was in, um, was it the Equalizer? Oh. As one of the bad cops who was kind of trying okay. to, wow. you know. He looks a lot different without a beard. Help the Russian mobsters with the Equalizer problem. Okay. With the Denzel problem. He was in Movie of the Year Suicide Squad. <laughs> he was in it? Dexter Tolliver. I don't know who he was in there, but he was in it. Mm-hmm. Well, the thing is, I Movie recognized him as a character actor. And he, I never think he. I never. He was in, he was in the Equalizer as yep. Masters. Yep. Uh, Parkland, which was a really good movie. I don't know if you saw that. No. Nope. You ever saw Parkland? No. It was about the hospital when they brought JFK. Oh no! And stuff like that. Really. That does really sound good. good. All right. Me, I, you throw me. You put JFK on something. I'm like, I gotta watch this now. Oh, dude, yeah, I'm with you. Let's Back see. and to the left. Back. Back and the, to the he left. He was in the Green Hornet as Scanion. I don't know, Point being, he was a character actor who did yeah. so much stuff that we probably had recognized him. This yeah. was his big breakout role, and he nailed it. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Did Did you love how he came across? I mean, I mean, like 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 his change from the beginning as it went through his progression. I was like, that's really that cool. was great because mm-hmm. he, he, the thing I loved about him, this was a guy who had nothing to lose. Uh-huh. He was like, mm-hmm. I've lost everything. Yeah, I love that kind of because yeah. because it puts a commitment into somebody that is like. I don't compromise. Mm-hmm. That's, you know, Braveheart. Remember when they said that about him? Father, he goes, you admire this man. He's uncompromising. Uncompromising men are easy to admire. I was like, uh-huh. yeah, because there's only a few of them yeah. that you'll come across in your life. Very you true. know, I can't believe I didn't remember the little girl's name, Eleven. You know what uh-huh. her actual name is? No. Millie. Daryl. <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah. I, I swear, I think I looked it up, too, and I yeah. remember that, too. <laughs> like, yeah, how did I, I not remember her like, Her name was Bobby Brown? <laughs> Yeah, but Jim she Hopper. did an amazing job. She really did. Amazing. Kid with no teeth. Oh, that kid, <laughs> yeah. Dustin. Um, yeah, Dustin Henderson was his, his character's name, but Dude. that kid was great. Whoever was the casting director on this, mm-hmm. I don't know what you paid him. Mm-hmm. He needs a bonus yeah. and a raise. <laughs> hey, that was amazing. Because whoever did it, let them keep doing what they're doing because didn't it feel like a Spielberg movie yeah. Yeah. that we yeah. found locked away in a time capsule yeah. and said, hey, listen. We made this. It was in, you know, 87. We never released it. To be honest, Steven, he drinks. And we <laughs> lost it. <laughs> and he was like, oh, yeah, I made that thing, man. It's a great movie. I have 13 pieces. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah, it's great. Loved it. Mm-hmm. He said it, it took a lot of selling to get that show made. And it's like. Look how it's paid off for him. Let me ask you this: the uh, the main uh, character, the main kid. Did you think his face looked kind of weird? Oh, absolutely. But like I said, the casting director yeah. that had to be yeah one hundred percent on purpose. They said mm. all the all the boys read from Stand by Me for that role. Oh, oh yeah, did they? yes, yeah. that's right, yeah. that's right. Oh, now that's good stuff. Yeah, now that's that's a tidbit. Now, yeah, I that's like. another movie he can he can kind of throw threads yeah. into this too. Stand by me was was a good movie. Mm-hmm. Everyone calls it one of the best ever. I never connected with it like They're that. Right. The Goonies, I really connected. It had I a Goonies, Goonies vibe. Goonies. Yeah. Did you guys get the ET kind of vibe? Uh, yeah. Especially when she hopped on the bicycle, I was like, "They're gonna start flying." Yeah. I, 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 I was like, "Can't do that because as cool as it would be, yeah. uh, but yeah, put what, it in the blooper reel." <laughs> what she did on those bikes was pretty doggone cool. Oh, oh yes. dude, absolutely. Yes. Flip the truck. I mean, spoiler. 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 I just love how she got more and more powerful. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what. There was a moment in there where she squared off. It was like the final mm-hmm. fight. Yeah. The look and the pose and the lighting was so perfect. Yeah. I was like, 
that girl might be who we need for the next Wolverine after Hugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was yeah. like, Little this X-23 is X-23, right there. baby. Yeah. Yeah. That I look, was, I was like, dude, I don't know if I would take her candy from her. Even man. the first time she loses it, she's like, I don't want to use these powers. I don't want to use them. I don't want to use them. And she's like, she takes that dude's neck and just snaps it. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. God. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. But I remember... Th- she may or may not have done that. She may not. may or may not. She may or may... Allegedly. Yes. She <laughs> potentially could have made someone pee on themselves. <laughs> Joe, Rogan, Joe Rogan always says that whenever they talk about somebody who got busted for uh, drugs. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> yeah. allegedly. We can not confirm more than Allegedly. <laughs> hey, but I, will, I would say this. This is one of the few times, you know, that you get story, characterization, yeah. cast... Timing, uh-huh. the uh, costuming, the the setting, and it it's it's perfect. It, was it came great. in. That was a really yeah. really good thing. I if you haven't seen it, you need to get on Netflix. If yep. you don't have Netflix, I don't know what you're waiting for. That's a yeah. enough reason with the Defenders coming out. Yes, and with this, I love how these studios are doing. Like HBO with Western Worlds, uh-huh. AMC, mm-hmm. The Walking Dead. I hope I'm, I can find Western Worlds. So I don't. I don't have any of the, the movie channels. Oh, dude, I'm sure there will be some other mm-hmm. avenues you could probably mm-hmm. now. Some of those things I think that you can do almost like a rental thing, mm-hmm. like you would on Hulu or Amazon or something yeah. like that. If you don't yeah. have the subscription, yeah. So but, um, hey, and when are they coming out with the next part of that? Do we know? Is that next year? I was about to ask you guys this. Do you feel like that bringing a second part to this story could hurt it? Absolutely. If they don't write it correctly. Yeah, I mean, that's the they, biggest thing I worry because, I mean, the ending of this I thought was so awesome. I do not like the ending. Oh, I, oh. I like the ending, but I like the fact that it's not done either. Yeah. I almost consider this book one. See, if they had done it correctly, they could have completely wrapped up the story and made it its one season thing all to itself, and I would have been perfectly happy with that. You know, there's a part of me that agrees with you mm-hmm. because I'm like, man, you do take the chance of ruining yeah. it. Yeah. And you do have the chance now. You've got such momentum. Yeah. Let's keep it. Mm-hmm. I'm praying they don't because if it stayed, you could have the Highlander. Mm-hmm. And if it keeps going, you could, could have, have the Highlander. Highlander. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, mm. so my fingers are crossed. In Marvel, we trust right now. In Netflix, I trust too a little bit. Do you like the sister? No. Nancy, yeah. <laughs> she was the her. one character that I was like, ugh. Well, I like Nancy, but I was really surprised she stayed with her boyfriend. Yeah, they, like, they painted exactly. her as this big tool, and then like in the last episode or two, they like make him okay again. He's actually a good guy. You know what though? I I did. I didn't like dig. that dude at all. Yeah. I did not either. But I did like when he turned on his butt. I mean, flock of seagulls here, dude. <laughs> I love that. Oh, it was so bad. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, so awesome. But I did love his moment of redemption. Mm-hmm. He's coming back. I'm like, you know what? Okay, maybe. Yeah, he's like, I do care about you. I'm not going to leave you alone in there. Dude, I, I love when he actually sees, okay, they're not crazy. There's something to this in the house. Yeah. Spoiler, right? Yeah. That I was like, because <laughs> you have no enemies. now. And, and I tell you what, yeah. it's almost like Ronald Reagan's famous speech. He goes, I often wonder if we would be attacked as a world by an alien race how we'd forget our differences and pull together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's exactly what those kids did. Yeah. I hate you, I hate you. There's a monster, help. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Team humans. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that would happen. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was um, just a phenomenal, phenomenal yeah. piece of work. We are talking about Winona being crazy and stuff. It mm-hmm. was cool that we were the only ones that got the views. Like, we know she's not crazy. We know what's actually going on. Oh. Yeah. But everybody else is yeah. like, you feel for her. It's like... You would think she's totally crazy. She started yeah. saying some of that stuff, but it's like we get the behind the scenes. We get to see. Didn't you love how creative they kind of made her see what was going on? Yeah. You know, with the painting and the light and all yeah, that. Yeah. 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 All, all of that. That was so original. Yeah. I was like, okay, what are we doing here? Yeah, the Christmas lights thing. That was awesome. That was totally yeah. original. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, the closest thing that I could, when I was watching that I could think of to this. And it's not really comparison, but uh, close uh, close encounters of the third kind. Mm. Oh yes, you, you remember the potatoes? Yes, he made that whole thing out of potatoes. I love uh, it. It's like it's like that to me kind of the the, vo- the volcano type of thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, "What is he doing?" He's just he's with all the potatoes, all the smashed potatoes. As a kid, I saw it. That's almost where I walked out of that because it was on TV when yeah. I was a kid and I was uh-huh. watching. It wasn't at the theater, and I was like, 
the dude from Jaws is <laughs> losing it with his food, man. Richard Dreyfuss. Uh-huh. I loved when they landed, though, and you uh-huh. saw the aliens come out. Mm-hmm. That that about blew my mind. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. What freaked me out, though, because the little Martians coming out, that was fulfillment. I was like, dude, this is okay. They delivered. Yeah. When that big sucker with them long arms and mm-hmm. fingers came out, I was like, huh, 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 huh. <laughs> I, I, Too much, cut it off. Too much, cut it off. <laughs> Hot water burn, baby. <laughs> I was like, no, I couldn't take it, man. Could not take it. But um, what are your uh, theories on the ending? I've heard, like, what do you think the monster was? I've heard theories that it was L the whole time. Wow, I've not heard that. I would be disappointed if it was that. Yeah, me too. If, hey, if you haven't seen it, you don't want it to be spoiled. I hate to say this because yeah. I never want to tell you to turn off yeah. the Simply Incredible podcast, yeah. but yeah. turn it off. You might, yeah, leave, leave for a little bit. Leave. Go back in time about five minutes. To cut yeah. it off there. <laughs> and um, I'll tell you what I think it is. I think it's like um, another dimension. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's, that, that's kind of that, like, like a portal to. But what I'm saying, it, it wasn't her manifestation. Yeah. I think that's a real creature that lives in that dimension. Yeah, yeah I and mean, that's I mean, that's the theory. It was her manifestation because, like, of her it, fears, maybe. Even in the last fight, like when she actually took it out and stuff, like it was mirroring her movements and stuff. Mm-hmm. Now I have to go back and watch it. it I wouldn't be disappointed mm-hmm. if they wrote it right. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes if I have my own ideas, I don't like when they've got theirs. I mean, yeah. to me, it was it was almost like you know, like we have Earth and we have like that Earth too, like that. Almost like bizarro world. But I've got right. I've got questions about that's what I think too. I think it was a alternate dimension. I mean, or whatever, like when but, they went well, in, kind of like mirror world, I mean, like yeah. the like, other yeah, side like when of they the went looking in, glass. In through that tree, yeah, yeah. into that yeah. reverse world. Okay, first of all, is there anybody in here? Who would have crawled into that tree? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, if I'm that guy, I'm gonna be like, she's screwed. I gotta yep, go. Did you know that look like that look like a really committed zookeeper saying, "That elephant baby ain't gonna come out by itself. I <laughs> gotta go in." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Too much commitment, man. Yeah. I'm like, Hey, who's next on the space scale? <laughs> scale? I was like, that monster doesn't have eyeballs, but he's still he's waiting for me on the other side of that tree. I'm not mm-hmm. going through there. Dude, and, you know what I love? It doesn't matter how there's nothing in there to trip over and make a noise. You're yeah, going to find a little way. stick crack. Yeah. We're dead, bro. Yeah. But I didn't get like, I don't know, I got questions. Like, why is that the only living being in that entire dimension? There was an egg. Did it like hatch from that egg? What, what is that about? Where did it right, come right, from? What right. is all that? How does it just willingly, whenever it wants to, come over to our dimension back and forth? Cause. Now, that's a good argument for it being a manifestation mm-hmm. because she could only manifest uh-huh. maybe, you know, at least a few. Right. You know? And it's like, my another question I had was, the kid that got lost was Will, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what was going on with Will? Because, like, first the monster gets him, drags him back to the other dimension, then he gets away again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then how he do capt- you get away from him and hide in your world's version of your clubhouse and then he gets a hold of him again during the last episode but he doesn't eat him he like wraps him up in that vine twine thing like almost like alien yeah. like yeah. what was what was going on there what was all that about maybe I, all that'll be touched on in season two well that is something in the yeah. aliens that they always do they got a cocooned up uh-huh. yeah you i mean know, i was thinking maybe they need a, a human body to to be like the incubator to make another to, to, to be the next another. thing maybe i don't know he needed a girlfriend or maybe what they've got, there was a, a movie with Scarlett Johansson that was really whacked out. I think I've talked about it before on here. Really whacked out um, about her being an alien. And what she would do is her spaceship, when you were inside it, it was almost like Harry Potter magic tent that was like, it looked like a small tent by four by four, but inside it was like 400 yeah. feet by 400. Uh-huh. And this world was really a spaceship. Uh-huh. And now if you looked at it, it looked infinite like you couldn't, but you were really inside an enclosed space. Uh-huh. So it could be that where this spaceship is a single you know, inhabitant. Interesting. I don't know. Just some interesting things. Like if we'll it throw wanted, that to Netflix, see what they think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if that monster wanted to eat things, was it just always coming over here and like nobody ever ran to it? It just happened to hang out in the woods and like never come into the city. And eat and deer. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's like, why did it need to eat things on this side but still live I thought that was really outside. weird. You got the deer laying all of a sudden, <laughs> pulls it right. That was oh, yeah, that was like, creepy. Ah. That was wild. I love the creature design, though, yeah. like with no eyes, just teeth. Mm-hmm. 
because the first time I saw that, I was like, oh man, that, too yeah. much mom, too yeah. much mom, turn it off. Cool. <laughs> uh, what's the, uh, the scientist, uh, Neil Tyson? Degrassi, yeah. Degrassi. Yeah. yeah, he said, he said, you know, what's really funny, you got all these shows with aliens and they all look pretty similar. He's like, dude, you go to other planets way out there, if there's anything out there, it's going to look nothing like us. I'm sure, yeah. Dude, it might, it might literally it might, be it, gases, it, yeah. you know, gaseous it might, state it or might slug. Have eyes, it might not have eyes. You don't know what it's going to look like. Yeah. It's not going to look like... He's like, their odds are very much, it's going to look nothing like us. Yeah. Yeah. Like We're limited by what we can imagine now. No, no, yeah. no crap. They're going to be small, green, already seen guy with jaws. <laughs> and they live them. beneath the land on Mars. Yeah. Duh. We're always limited by, our imaginations are limited by what we have at the time. Like, yeah. You look at shows back in the 50s and 60s, what they think now is going to look like. It's their exact same stuff that they have already yeah, just placed differently or something well yeah most of them like back in the day for the future they all have, were wearing like aluminum foil yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. did are you guys into the b movies from like the 50s and 60s space movies sci-fi stuff no. i mean in spurts right i mean yeah. nobody can right, sit right, and watch right, them right, forever right, yeah. the cheese factor is awesome it i is, like some I old mean, uh, i can only eat so much cheese before i'm like okay i'm done i like some old <laughs> twilight zone and stuff like that oh, I, yeah. now you know I, I, i'm such a I don't know. I got quirky habits. Every Saturday, that's when I do my laundry. Mm-hmm. And I've got Sheldon a, Cooper. I am totally. <laughs> and um, that's my share. When I get my stuff out of the dryer, I'll take it to the bedroom. Mm-hmm. And as I'm folding it and putting it away, I got the Twilight Zone on. Oh, yeah. Every Saturday, every Saturday, I've got it on my DVR set for two different channels: yeah. the old one. And the new one where Forrest Whitaker is like Rod mm-hmm. Serling and stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah, I was They're watch- nowhere near as good as Like this ones. weekend, I was watching like one of the old ones, and it was great. Which one did you watch? It was the one where they, uh, it's a man and a woman. They're on a train, and and all of a sudden, they, they, they pull up to a, a, a station. They're like, wait, this is where we started from. And they get out of the train, and they're trying to escape something. You don't know what they're escaping. Oh, I love it. And all of a sudden, you see this big shadow. You know, like, there it is. What? And then they're trying to run and reach down, and a hand grabs them. And it's a baby. And, and like, they're a toy. Yeah, they're, they're toys on this little, like, toy railroad that goes around in a circle. That's <laughs> awesome. And I was like, great. that was awesome. Dude, I, I, I know that some of those plots are just now predictable. But because just those twists at the end are awesome, yeah. dude. That's so cool. That's one thing, Connor, I did successfully. Because I've... So many things that I, I struggled to share with him, you know, he's like, yeah, I guess yeah. it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I showed him the Twilight Zone, and and the one, I said, if I'm going to have a shot with him, I'm going to show him this one episode mm-hmm. with Burgess Meredith and the books. Books. Do, oh, do you know yes, the story? Yes, yes, yes. This is a great one. I'll tell you what, I'm this not going to even tell you the, the twist. That one is something mm-hmm. you should watch. That is, cool. is like, like the... That is the Twilight the Zone. One. Okay. I mean, that, it's it, called yeah, Books. Like, it's actually just put in Twilight Zone, books. Burgess Meredith mm-hmm. plus books on YouTube, okay. and it would probably come up. Yeah, that's cool. And yeah. literally, it's like twenty minutes yeah. long, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's and it's fantastic. Yeah, they were made for thirty minutes, and then you, you know for the commercial, so right around twenty. Yeah. When, when that twist happened, yeah. Connor looks at it. He goes, "No way!" Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, "They got more of these." I was yeah. like, "They got a bunch." That's more, awesome, dude. That's dude awesome. That was awesome. The ending on that one, I get no spoilers, but. Amazing. Amazing. Mm-hmm. To he'll the still stand come up. in like while I'm putting my clothes away. He'll be like, "You got Twilight Zone on," uh, and he'll cool. hang out with me. Yeah, that's, you know what? Cool. I haven't seen that in a long time. I was like, I gotta go back and watch it again. I'll, I'll check one. that out for sure. Mm-hmm. To the stand out with me. One of them I saw when I was a kid, and it freaked me out, and I didn't ever want to watch the show ever again. Which one? They were in an elevator. It was a bride and groom that just got married. Twilight Zone. Yeah, and they were in like an elevator or something, and somehow like they fell through the bottom of it, and there was a giant spider web, and they were stuck on the web, and a oh, spider was coming. Is that a black coming. and white one? Or a- I can't remember. It might have been. Dude, but, that's a good one. Though. But yeah, the spider was coming to eat them, and I was like, Whoa. nope, nope, never again. I'm done. <laughs> I'll tell you something that I, I used to never watch. When it came on, I, I literally I switched the channel because the, I hate to say it, the intro itself was just unappealing to me. I was like, this looks stupid. The Outer Limits. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. Have you ever watched that? Uh, it's been a long, long time. I don't think so. No. They've the Twilight Zone has a feel. They've got mm-hmm. a formula almost. Well, yeah. the Outer Limits has its own formula, and it's good. It's almost like a decently done sci-fi movie that's um, one hour instead of thirty. Yeah, I tell you what. Hey, maybe we ought to start wrapping it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, next week, do we have anything planned? Uh, well, we we're going to Luke Cage. We'll push that back a week. We'll find something. We'll find something. We don't know yet, but something great will come out. Maybe Riley's room will be ready. Yes, Riley, get that room ready. Get that we're, room we're, we're ready. We're ready to talk more. I love it. 
Um, what about you? Got any final parting words, Josh? Alex's mm. apartment. We need to talk about that too. At some point. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, have room, room, apartment. Corners. Yeah, we got everything. <laughs> Alex Avenue. And it won't be long. We'll yeah. start having a lot of the the new movies coming out. Yeah. You know, for the next kind of big push. Doctor Strange. Strange. Yeah. Fall oh, season uh, TV is on. There's yeah. a couple other ones I saw that I was like, oh, Jack Reacher. Oh yes. Yeah, is that That's, this year? Yeah, dude, it's coming out in a few weeks. Wow, it is really oh, cool, sweet. So, all right, well, mm-hmm. cool, man. Thanks for having me on, man. It was good. Yes. Anything else, guys? That's it, buddy. That's it. And you guys have an incredible day. See ya. Peace.